Hello everybody, here a new video from René from Spain. Uh, I have not made many videos lately because I've been very busy, like I already said in, in previously videos. Uh, but now I have a little bit of time and I decided to make quickly a video. Uh, in this video I'm going to do a couple of things. I'm going to show you uh, some of the stuff I've been spinning lately. Plus uh, Aaron, the Metal Theology, he made some very cool videos lately showing some records that he has at home without choosing without choosing them first, you know, just picking them out like that. And I thought it's quite a nice thing to do. And that's what I'm gonna do now. It's a little dark the video again. Anyway, um, so people complained uh, of the lightning, you know, the lights. Of course, this camera sucks. Uh, and besides that, uh, you know, sometimes it's a little dark in this room. Especially now that I changed this room, because some vinyls I had in other room, I put them behind me. So that you can see there's some more vinyls now than before. Plus there's more stuff that you cannot see now. And in the cabinets here, all vinyls. But, uh, you know, I wanted to put everything in one room. Uh, finally, not everything fitted in this room, but a lot did. That's why uh, I have more vinyls now to pick out from the back. Before it was all trust dead black, and now it's trust black, uh, you know, and dead metal, but also a lot of hard rock and sleazy and heavy metal, you know, it's all at the back here. Um, yes, anyway, let's start first um, with the stuff I've been playing lately. The one you can hear at the background is the Hermann Z. German vinyl and this song is very good it's uh, it's I say goodbye you know with Don Dokken and also we have the rat guys the two guys from Rat are on here and also we have of course Jack Russell from Great White and um, Charlie Hoon from Victory you know he's also on here talking about Victory I also played this album by Victory this week it's a live album with uh, Charlie Hoon still in the band, you know, after that he left and Fernando Garcia, you know, he became the singer of Victory, but this is still with Charlie Hoon in the band. A great live album from 1988, you know, really nice. I also listened a lot to Among the Living by Anthrax, you know, this, I put my headphones on a couple of times when I was playing this. And uh, you know, and reading the lyrics at the same time. And uh, to me, this album is better than I I remember it really to be. Because of course, I always like the songs like Among the Living or Indians. But now also songs like I'm the Lord or Effie Nicofessing, you know, are, are are songs that I like more now than before. And that's thanks to the lyrics because I've been listening to the lyrics and paying more attention to the songs. Of course, this is a classic that you all have home. Then I also listened to this band, Kron, Red Zone. It's a rainbow, uh, very much influenced by rainbow. You know, I really like this uh, this record. We got a couple cool songs, especially Live in a Minute. Live in a Minute is maybe my favorite song by uh, on the record. On Noise Records, it came out on Noise. I also listened to Crank, a cool band from the USA, and to this record by Maze, kind of a punk metal album. Quite cool this one. And I listened to some CDs. First Strike with the Devil by Hitten. I mean, I saw Hitten Saturday, they came to play in my town, and I saw them live, and after that uh, I wanted to listen uh, to the album very, very much, because they played all the songs from this album live. I also listened to Buck Cherry, The Best Of. I'll stand up to show you better, maybe like this. You see? It's, this band is quite cool, you know, they're, they're hard rock, dirty hard rock. But some other songs are, are less dirty. But uh, I think if you like Slush, solo stuff, I think you'll show like this album. You know, and I'll, I'll even think that the singer of Book Cherry could also be 
the singer of um, of Slush, to be honest. You know, some songs are very good. I'm not a big fan of this band, but it's nice to have this bad stuff. Plus, I listen to Hell Torment. Hell Torment is a band from... Uh, maybe I can put the light on, maybe it's, it gets a little better here. Yeah. It's so dark here, yeah. I understand why it's so dark. Hell Torment. It's a, a, a black trash metal band, with some death metal influences too. It's actually, it's not really a band, it's just one band member. And I listened also to Curse Nazarene, also by um, Hell Torment. And then I also got out of my collection to spin this split album with Hell Torment, Abigail, and the band from uh, South Korea. You know, that I didn't know about, but it's also on here. Okay, uh, this is what I've been spinning. You know, not much more because, like I said, I had not much time, and now I want to do what Aaron did too, picking up a couple records like this, and then just show, you know, just to show up really, it's nothing else than that. Let's, okay, I don't know where to go to, uh, here maybe, pick about this one. Oh, this is Creatures of the Black by Empire of Evil. And Empire of Evil is formed by Venom members, you know. You know, the Prime Evil record, for example, by Venom, you have this Demolition guy singing. Of course, he was a singer of Atomkraft before. And then, of course, Prime Evil, he starts singing when uh, Kronos left and starts making some solo records. You know, and this is with him in the band. Okay? And some other Venom members. No, not, not bad. It's not killer release. It's not a killer release, but it's not bad. Okay, uh, oh, no. down here maybe, down here, okay, let's pick out this, 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 this one. Helloish, from Holland, this is a Dutch band, a cool melodic heavy metal band. They released two records during the 80s and this is one of them. Okay, maybe up here maybe? Up here, or down here a little bit. Oh, Carnivore, the early days. This is with all the early days with, with Demo, with the Demo Nucleo Warriors by Carnivore. You know, it's a cool release on white vinyl. You know, I think it's kind of a bootleg, I don't think it's official. Okay, uh, down here maybe. I don't want to look, I don't want to look. Oh, Iron Maiden, anyway, Iron Maiden, I speak out what I see. Bulgari on one side and Made in Japan on the other side. You know, these are these 10 anniversary uh, maxi singles that came out. Re-releasing, uh, you know, this mini LP for example and this maxi single on, on one single double vinyl release. You see? And one more, this is the last one I'm going to pick out of course. Let me see, uh, I don't know where to pick it up. Here, maybe the back here, here, just here. One, two, three. Oh, Angel Witch, the debut album by Angel Witch on Bronze Record from 1980. Obviously a classic new wave of British heavy metal records. You know, one of the best from those days. You know, it's like timeless, timeless metal. I saw this band live around 10 years ago, you know, and they kicked ass, you know. Anyway. This is everything I want to show. Uh, maybe if I have time I'll make quickly one more video, but if not, uh, you will only see this video for a while. Um, greetings to everybody in the VC. Thanks to the new subscribers. Thanks to the old ones for watching my video. Uh, I hope so you like this one. You know, I show a little bit of everything. And stay heavy!